What's up everybody? Today I wanted to make you guys another video. Um, and this one is kind of the beginning of a whole series of videos I wanted to do. It's gonna end up being like 101 long because I'm doing the uh, 101 ways to uh, transform your life from uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer because he's really inspired me in a lot of different ways. He has a lot of great material, particularly just for free on YouTube. And I recommend you guys all check that one out, but I thought that doing an in-depth series about his specifics of transforming your life is really powerful, particularly because he has really good principles in this. And so I didn't want to do these, like, I think that each principle basically deserves its own video, its own little thing, and I think we can uh, fit that all in, and in a few minutes a day you can really get to that whole transforming your life. And I really want to talk through each one of these because I think they're really powerful and really useful. So let's, uh, let's just sit back and uh, get into it. We have a thunderstorm going on in the background, and uh, it's pretty cool, so... Gotta enjoy what you can in life, you know, a bit of everything, basically. So anyway, um, the first principle from uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer is 100 ways, uh, 101 ways to transform your life. He has a great intro to this, but I'm kind of just going to dive in on principle one. And his first principle is about this invisible intelligence that, like, is everywhere in everything that you do, basically. Just kind of paraphrasing it because, you know, I don't want to use the exact quote here. You can uh, look that one up directly from him on his 100 ways to 101 ways to transform your life. But I think basically it comes down to this invisible intelligence that's in all things that, you know, basically surrounds you like the force kind of in ways or your divine intelligence, however you choose to perceive this one. And that there's greatness in everything you do. He has this idea of how this, you know, sapling, this tree seed has, you know, treeness in it. This kind of thing that it can turn into its potential. All that kind of thing. And that there's this kind of power that you can make contact with and grow with and all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know about your, like, beliefs exactly about, you know, what reality is, what's possible, what's not possible, you know. Do you believe about your thoughts can directly manipulate reality? Do you believe, you know, in a strong religion? Do you believe only in facts and science? Whatever the case, I'm going to be taking more of the scientific perspective on looking at what he's saying and taking it that way, but you're welcome to take it any way you want to because as long as it's useful to you and it can, you know, transform your life and it's not going to hurt anybody else in the process, then, you know, you do you kind of thing. But basically, when you have this invisible intelligence, I think what he's really getting at is this kind of Napoleon Hill idea of infinite intelligence. This just, there's this great potential, this power in everything that you can see what you can live up to, this kind of connection. So if you don't believe in the collective unconscious or infinite intelligence, just from a science-y perspective, think about it when you believe in yourself at a subconscious level, you can really change a lot of things in your life. When you really believe I have the potential to do great at, you know, writing or trading or school or my job or anything, just like literally anything, when you believe that you have greatness in you, that there's this kind of, this potential right under the surface that can really transform your life. Now, he may be getting at an actual source of infinite intelligence, infinite power, or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. I just am going to take it as a source of inspiration, muse, all that kind of stuff that you could look at as being purely psychological in nature, purely in the subconscious mind. But you can take it, as I said, however you want. And I think that's the big thing about this one is it's a really, it's starting this series off just saying, you are great you know you have great potential no matter how much you've screwed up no matter what you've done in your life you can really change your life and change everything about it if you really want to and you're ready to dive into it there's this power that we all have you know the power of the potential we can live up to you know multiverse theory infinite universes etc basically infinite potential that we can all live up to if we're willing to just dive in and meet the challenge, I think is what he's really, you know, getting at here. We have all this power, we have all this potential, and, you know, this kind of infinite source of inspiration, all this power of the subconscious mind as well. So really he's saying, you have the power, we have the power, etc., to be able to change our lives, to be able to change and do anything we want. So don't put limits on anything. Just dive in and like taste that all that life has to offer, basically, I would say is how I interpret this one. But that's basically the first principle. Dive on in, 
have some enjoyment in life and know that you're on the right path and everything you do is moving in the right direction. Because I think a lot of people are weighed down by doubt all the time. They're like, ah, this thing or that thing. But when they dive in, they believe I can do this no matter if they fail or not. It's really that kind of potential to live up to your like full potential. And so that's basically my take on this one. Oops. <laughs> Thanks, Thunder. I did need an interruption there. Okay, anyway, that's about it for this video. So that's number one in this series. Stay tuned and uh, let's get this discussion going, talk about this kind of stuff because I think it's really powerful for transforming lives. Thanks for listening in. Talk to you next time.